we are in downtown Kalamazoo where we are going to talk to Nick Baxter. We'll call him Nick the drummer. He's all about community here in Kalamazoo. He's going to teach us how about community and we're going to hear him strumming on the guitar. Music. It is a cultural constant, a master of conscience, a cacophony of creativity consistently corresponding with consciousness. All right, let's talk arts. When did you pick up your first guitar? Yeah, so actually I have this big scar on my finger. I'm a drummer by trade, and when you have a scar on your finger and you have to get something, it's very, very detrimental and it's kind of depressing and I'm like, I can't do this without music. So I got myself a loop pedal and I began to play softly on guitar and create melodies with this guitar. And um, after a while, you know, it kind of developed into being able to include my percussion, to include my guitar, to play keyboard, to do all these different things that I can just on the fly create music. And how about the poetry? Mm. What's this all about? Oh man, so the winter of 2014, I met a man named Fable the Poet at a local open mic called Put Up or Shut Up, and he still remains a very good friend of mine, um, but I think it was like, you know, I had, been, I had been reading it, I'd never heard it, and I think that was a big catalyst in my life to be able to realize that people are walking up on stage and just expressing pictures of their life mm -hmm. to people. That was so powerful for me, and that was like, it enabled me to realize that I have a story and I have a history to my life that is, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult and it's traumatic, but at the same time, it's kind of transformed me into who I am now and like allowed me to do all these good things. I, I get kind of deep too, you know, there's, there's difficult times in life and I, th I feel like writing is a key to getting through them. All right, pen in hand, paper on lap, mm -hmm. and I turn to you, Nick the drummer, Nick the philosopher. What are we uh, gonna work on here? So this is kind of like a journal, journal entry reflection. It was uh, recommended to me by uh, Pastor Ruth Mordyke uh, mm -hmm. from a book that she had read. So there are three things you saw, three things you heard, draw something, and then one thing to remember. So this all has to happen today, what I saw today and what I heard today? Right, right. So I saw a microphone. I saw a child with headphones. Mm. I wonder if I have to reflect on that. And I saw a car. I'll also give you the compliment of a community artist. Mm. I mean, you can be, you know, the, at the snap of a finger, you're on, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. How does that work? You know, I step into things and just hope for the best. That's one. But, um, you know, there are good people who are creating this community in very, very intricate and peculiar ways, and I'm always curious about learning new things. And I think, you know, sometimes the best music will only be created if no one knows what's going to happen. You know, so that's kind of the biggest thing. Um, you know, with, with Bahar Ensemble, this Middle Eastern Ensemble, I train and I, I rehearse and I think about this music because it's not very familiar to me um, in my world. Uh, with Last Gas Collective, you know, we are this um, amazingly um, powerful family of musicians and like that is, that is very much a sense of loving to be a part of the wave, you know. Um, and I think also just kind of like freelance, any other, you know, like I don't want to say like just gigs that I have, like just knowing I can do it, you know, I've, I've had so much history behind me of playing music that like when people ask me to play something, I have a pretty good idea of um, how to really support that. Three things you heard. I heard, I heard a dog bark. That was early in the morning. I heard uh, a music video. I heard street traffic. You asked me to draw something? Yeah. A picture of something you saw today or things you're thinking about maybe. Things I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. My new cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's his name? You gotta put his oh, name. Oh, his out name? Yeah. Yoda. Yoda. I, I need to feed Yoda. Beautiful kitty. Okay, you put have. the kitty. Last. And then uh, one thing to remember from today. Um, let's 
fill up our days with adventures. That is beautiful. How's that? Beautiful. I understand you're a good photographer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I am, uh, I have a lot of good opportunities. So I have my little handy dandy cell phone and uh, I get the best camera that I can and I try and take beautiful pictures of people mostly. Like sometimes there are like nature scapes and things. I was in the mountains recently so I got a lot of good shots of that. But um, yeah, and then I take them and I print them and I uh, do these big galleries and things uh, for people to see what's happened in my life, pretty much. The beauty of freelance, yeah. you're doing what you love, which includes a project you're working on. Yeah, of course, of course. So it's, in, uh, it's gonna be four acts. So it's uh, God, insanity, love, and happiness. And each of these tracks kind of have their own character. Uh, I plan to release it in the spring, and it's gonna be released under my name, Nick the Drummer. So, um, and this, I mean, all of it is a kind of consortium of the sounds I've collected from the years of doing all these things, so. Um, and I think also it's a lot of me explaining how I see the world, you know, how like God relates to me, how depression and manic anxiety have just driven me crazy, how, you know, I fall in love like really quickly and easily and, you know, a million times a day and how like people make me happy in the end of the, end of the life. And I, you know, I think that that's like a good conclusion of it. What to do with this? Um, well, so I usually catalog them and just use them uh, in the future. I'll look back on these pages that I have. Um, some of them help me to like, encourage writing that I'm doing or just help me to see where I was at the time when this took place. Do this daily? Yep. Great. Thank you for this. Mm -hmm. Across the oceans and many seas, mountain tops and valleys below. From the earth's cool surface to the tips of the tallest trees, beginnings and endings of rivers flow. Say, there exists love in life where peace and joy abound, abundant, fruitful, and sound. Maybe it's in stillness, silence and serenity Or the hustle and bustle of the sleepless city Say love, 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 do, do, do are we not all members of the human race? Maybe different colors, yeah, we wear the same face With the letter in our hearts and wisdom in our minds And a G in our hands with which we can build the parts So we are composed of stardust as the universe expands Almost 15 billion years until something demands an answer Philosophy, psychology, biology, religion Dissecting reality in search of a definition For God's children said we are just that Rather pieces of a puzzle can take us of an image of Mother Earth's skin Now we're turning into rubble, only insects can exist in Look at that ant on the ground Would it not be profound to know exactly how it feels sound? Would it not be amazing to know exactly what your neighbor is thinking Or exactly why everyone is so concerned with being Being that we are but particles of dust in an infinite ocean Where obtaining meaning is a must through your senses Is it sensible to trust something so deceptive? Maybe just because we can't be still I say meditate, meditate, meditate man Raise your frequencies and be as simple as that ant. Feel the vibrations so stimulated. Transcendent and ephemeral, the music makes the happy people sit. Regardless of our place in the universe, regardless if we're all just scattered dust, there's something as small as us is still capable of something as big as love, yeah. There's something as small as us is still capable of something as big as love. Yeah. There's something as small as us is still capable of something as big as love. Yeah. There's something as small as us is still capable of something as big as love. Yeah. There's something as small as us is still capable of something as big as love. Across the oceans and many seas, mountain tops and valleys below. From the Earth's cool surface to the tips of the tallest trees, beginnings and endings of rivers flow. There exists love in life where peace and joy abound, abundant, fruitful, and sound. Maybe it's in stillness, silence, and serenity, 
Oh, the hustle and bustle of the sleepless city. Say la, la da da do 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 do, la. Say la, love, 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 love yourself. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.